Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your stock mentor, Brian Johnson, and I'm making professional trading simple. And we saw another consolidation day today. Very lackluster trading on the markets. Was not at all what I expected. I did expect to maybe see a push up, followed by maybe a move back down this afternoon. Uh, we didn't see any of that today, so I said that it would. Uh, I was hoping, or not hoping, but I was, I was guessing that it might happen today. I said or later in the week. So I guess the or later in the week is going to come into play. We're going to have to wait a little while longer to finally get some movement from the markets. They are currently consolidating, which is not good for the bears. That is good for the bulls to see them moving sideways as such. So as I said, expect a, a bigger move coming within the next day or two. These things only tend to consolidate for a few days at a time, usually one to two, sometimes three to five, but never too much longer than that. So let's take a look at the markets. Um, um, for, uh, for my subscribers that watch the video, you're very welcome. Glad you enjoyed the intraday emails today. I like the new format as well. I hope those levels are helping you find your intraday trading much easier. And I find that putting the, uh, the video or the uh, newsletter out or the intraday emails out that way much simpler from my side too. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So into the markets as you see a straight run up. Look at this hard run we had at the beginning of the week. This was Monday. Straight up action. Once we broke this resistance area here, it was off to the races. I said I wouldn't be surprised to see a consolidation day on Tuesday. That's what we saw. And we're seeing one again here on Wednesday. It's all sideways chop action. Very difficult to trade this if you're trading ETFs. Um, if you're looking at uh, certain equities, different equities have been moving okay. If you found the right ones to play. But as a whole, the market is just moving sideways, still trying to get its bearings. However, now that the Dow has broken this trend line here, expect a retrace and a retest of this line. That seems to be the MO. Break the line, retest it. Break the line, retest it. Next one will be to break this line and then to retest it. And it seems to way, be the way things have been going uh, a lot lately. So I would expect it to do the same thing. Watch for it to maybe make a little bit of a move up here in the next uh, couple days to this level here. Let's look at the daily. Okay, so looking at the Dow on a daily, you can see this upper channel once again still holding very well, but we are getting consolidation right up here at the very top of it. And uh, so we had kind of a close on it above it yesterday, a little pullback today, which only bodes uh, well potentially there for the bears. Um, for my students, I want you to notice this is actually a a uh, good risk to reward ratio trade up here. So be watching for your entry on this particular trade. This is one you definitely need to keep on your charts. Uh, if I bring this in a little bit, let's let's uh, link this up to like a three month instead. And you can see right here how we're right on that upper trend line, right here in a big doji. Uh, some chartists are going to look at that and say that's definitely a, a reversal doji. I'm just going to tell you that for me, it's a you know maybe a dragonfly doji, but it's only a potential reversal doji at this point. You know how I am about these things. So if we you know see a break up above the 10,450 area, um, we're not clear yet. But if we get a break above that area, I would expect to see some more bullishness in the market. Uh, before a bigger pullback comes. It could come all in one day, though. That's why I'm telling you to be careful with your trades to the long side here. Continue the intraday idea of just intraday trading to the long side. Don't worry about a potential gap up in the morning of two points or one point or four points. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I would just, it would, it's, you're much better off protecting your capital at this point. If you're going to play things to the upside, the risk is still to the upside. NDX on a 60 minute. As you can see this moving down, this is bullish behavior. This thing is just making a bull flag right here. If I drew in a couple of lines, you'd see it's making a bull flag and a break up and above this 20 period moving average probably puts it out of that bull flag. And that starts its move to the upside as well, which puts it probably into the back of this trend line. As I said, break a trend line, retest from the underside. That's fully what I expect to see here. 
60 minute basis. Here you see this upper trend line holding well for the time being. So once again, we could see a move to the upside. On the 60 minute chart, I said, you know, a, a test of that underside, that can all happen in one day. It can move up, test that, and come back down and put in uh, like an inverted hammer type of a formation. Here we have, uh, what is this, a hanging man formation up here. So this is also a very, you know, big potential reversal uh, candle. But I'm not looking to go short the NDX until it breaks this support line here and gets below more importantly, below this trend line here at 1775, 1770 area. That would be a, a pretty defensible short on the NASDAQ if you play the Qs or something to that effect. Here is the NDX weekly. I told you we were looking at this line to be tested once we started seeing this motion to the upside. Sure enough, we did. Once we broke above this high, this little tiny head and shoulders pattern we were looking at on the weekly was gone. And I said, no reason we won't test this upper line. We have now done that. It's a matter of will it hold. This is a weekly candle. We are very early in the week, uh, closing out Wednesday. We still have Thursday and Friday left. The volume is minuscule at this point. So not a lot pouring in from a weekly basis on the NASDAQ. We will watch and see if it breaks that line. If so, more bullishness in the future. SPX on a 60-minute. Here we go. Uh, break this hard line, coming back to retest it, staying very flat. Look at how it's just basing straight sideways. This trading range here, you can either look at it as a trading range and or a high base formation, either one. Uh, if it's a high, you know, on a high base formation, this is bullish. This uh, looks to be breaking up. When it does, it's got to get up over, and I said over about the 113, 115 area, I can totally see 120, maybe 125, 130 in the future maybe it reaches this trend line here that's quite a quite a move for it but wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities if we can get up and over this bigger trend line here uh, this is a very serious trend line here though this was one of kind of the last lines in the sand so the bulls need to get it up and over this if they're going to make a, a serious run up into this higher area up here at this point. From a daily standpoint, though, it looks very nice from a bull standpoint. It has broken up and over the double top formation. It has held there two days. It's closed three days above that line. Little tiny dojis tell me that it's nothing more than a high base formation. So unless it breaks back down below all this junk here, no reason to think it won't go higher. Ultimately, for you bears, what we're waiting for is a break down below all of this, and we really need to get below the 50-day uh, moving average. That would be a very good start to a, to a bear run at that point. But at this point, it is simply moving sideways. This is all bullish behavior. So once again, maybe over the next two days, look for a little higher push up in the markets. From a weekly standpoint, you can see here that uh, it is still retracing the underside of this rising wedge. And like I said, we'll see what this looks like at the end of the week. I'm not so interested in the fact that it's uh, moving up as I am is in will it f uh, close inside this rising wedge again. That will be more important to me. VIX on a daily. We can see it down ever so slightly today, 78, but look at this. I just don't see any reason why it isn't going to break, or not, not break, but at least hit this lower line down here. Maybe even you know further down to, towards the 20 mark. That would coincide a little bit with what we're looking at on the weekly. Here we should be down to that dotted line we've been following. Sure enough, there's that dotted line. The next break, if it breaks down below that, will be a retest of this green area here. A little further move up in the markets as well. So very good for you options players if you're looking to get into some options. They're just even more cheap down in this area. Whether you're buying calls or puts, that's better off for you on the option side. So look for it to hit this area and hold. Apple on a 60-minute. You can see it in pullback 